from Los Angeles, California, Mr. Dale Dimkowski. <laughs> It's great to be here. Thank you. So my name is Dale Dimkowski, and uh, I am disabled. No, I'm serious. I was born with severe hearing loss, and I wear hearing aids. You don't believe me. And I understand, because technology today, amazing. But these right here? Wow. Give me my disability card. <laughs> Do you know what it doesn't get me? The handicap spot. <laughs> Which I don't think is fair. <laughs> There's a guy in my gym that parts in the handicap spot. This guy's perfectly able-bodied. Works out with a trainer. He's doing heavy squats. He's jumping on boxes. The guy's crushing it. So I asked his trainer after him, like, what is that guy's disability? You know, he's parking the handicap spot. You know what he said? Guy's HIV positive. Oh, oh. And I'm like, I have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> there are some real advantages to being hard of hearing. I can sleep. <laughs> Ever hear those leap blowers at the ass crack at dawn on a Monday morning? I don't. I could be one of the world's greatest nappers. Like, I wish napping were an Olympic sport, I'd be a gold medalist. <laughs> Helicopters, construction, home intruders, I'm not waking up. <laughs> like, in a fight with my girlfriend, I just take my hearing aids out and it's over. <laughs> and I get the last word. <laughs> okay, technically she gets the last word, but I don't hear it. <laughs> So I'm originally from Connecticut, and I think when people see me, you know, white boy from Connecticut, they automatically assume that I'm like rich or that I come from money, and that is not the case. Uh, but don't get me wrong, it's not like we were white trash. Uh, more like white recycling. <laughs> I would come home from school and my mom would still be at work, and they had a term for us growing up, they called us latchkey kids. Today there's a new term, it's called child neglect. <laughs> My mom worked as a nurse for many years. My dad was a social worker. Yeah, so my parents were really good at taking care of other people. <laughs> Just not their own kids, you see. That's when they drew a line. Because boundaries. My parents taught me boundaries. Gotta draw the line somewhere. My uh, dad had that talk with me about all the important decisions I'll make in life. He said, Dale, marriage? is the first step to a divorce. <laughs> and kids are a life sentence. <laughs> I was six when we had that conversation, so... <laughs> I was two years old when my parents divorced, and my mom still has a seething hatred for my dad. It's like, it's time to let it go, Mom. I mean, what kind of person do you have to be to hold a grudge for four decades? <laughs> Italian, it turns out. My mom's Italian. <laughs> can really hold a grudge. Uh, but my mom and I, we've been working on our relationship, you know? We fought a lot growing up. Uh, she was angry, I was angry. But we've been working on it, you know? And uh, I thought we were doing really well. And then one day, I realized she blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> it's just true story. So now I'm trolling the bitch on Twitter, because what else am I going to do? <laughs> So I'm getting older, no, no one ever believes when I tell them I'm 46, they're like, what's your secret? How do you stay looking so young? And it's simple, naps! <laughs> and don't have kids, so you can take naps. And don't do crystal meth, that's, that's about all I got. But uh, I'm getting old, you know, I'm out of touch. I was in a Starbucks the other day, and these uh, kids were in line in front of me talking about Ariana Grande. I thought they were talking about a new coffee drink. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting old, I should just accept it. I had to go to the DMV a couple months ago to get my license renewed. Thought I was just going in to get my picture taken. Turns out, I had to take a vision test. 
Uh, I wasn't prepared. I didn't study. The lady was like, cover one eye, read the second line. I fucking failed the vision test. I already can't hear. Now I can't see. I'm happy to have a color at this point. Thank you very much, you guys have been great.